go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 50, and this is war number six, halfway done. And we're going up against an alliance called the Legends Return. Okay, so let's see who they've uh, banned. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. They they banned CGR and Corvus and Valkyrie. Okay. Uh, Kushala and uh, Domino, global bands. And then you got Bishop and Iceman. All right. Let's take a look at what they have planned. Yeah, I see why now. Look at, look at the tech, y'all. Look at this. So I got three tech champions that are also global defenders and annoying. Okay. And keep in mind that I also need to deal with the power drain, power burn. Yeah. So what I'm going to have to do and we do have a planner, a war planner as well. But what I'm going to have to do is go through, because I don't have them memorized. I'm going to have to go through my uh, clarity defenders. Is is Namor clarity? I don't know. Um, if Namor is clarity, then I might end up using him uh, here. But I'm going to look through my, my clarity attackers and see who I have uh, ranked up, leveled up, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. That's also why. See that? Um, oh, man. They really knew what they were doing. Because if I could bring in my Corvus, I was going to call that boss. You guys have seen me. I've done the boss, um, I think, what, once or twice now. And absolutely destroyed him. And they know that. So they know what they're doing. Okay. I'll be back and you'll see who I finally decided to go in with. So let's get on to the fighting. All right. So we're going in with Onslaught, Terax, and Hulkling. So I am comfortable with Hulkling. As you guys may know, I use him all the time. Um... At least uh, the last couple of seasons, I had used him a lot. Uh, Terex, I'm a little bit more uncomfortable with. He's only ranked four, but I ranked him up for a reason. He's good. He's bleed immune and he's shock immune, and he 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 can go. But I don't use him that often, so I'm a little bit more um, wary uh, in my fights with him. But he seemed to be a good option uh, for a couple of fights on this path. All right. Now, these first couple of fights are Hulkling. Okay. Hulkling can rock uh, infamous Iron Man. And he can rock uh, future Ant-Man as well. And we'll see how well he does on some of the other fights. All right. So here we go. All right, all right. Now, I did see the uh, auto block, and so I'm being very careful here. You'll notice I'm not really doing um, really big giant combos. Okay, and there's that evade. So this war season, they can either evade 
or auto block. I rather have them evade because the auto block can result in uh, a parry stun. Okay. But the uh, evade, no problem. You know, just got to be really careful. So that's why you see me kind of fighting this way. See the evades? So I'm not doing like full five hit combos or else I get wrecked. Now, we're doing well here. All right, we got him down a little bit too low. So we, we were locked while he's uh, healing back up. All good. We knew that was gonna happen. Okay, and now we're gonna whittle him down a little bit more. So now what I could do at this point, I could wait until the uh, power lock goes and just fire off the special. But I was trying to wait until I had him down a little bit more because I'd like the special three to, to finish him if I could. All right, see? So I was waiting that out and I'm like, okay, this should finish him. All right, wop, wop, and wop. 5%. I needed to do a little bit more. But since he's already done his healing phase, it's not a big deal. Okay? And we got him down. So, as you may notice, Hulkling is not a clarity champion, meaning he doesn't get that extra help. But with careful playing, you can deal with it with a lot of other champions. So I actually like this Alliance War uh, tactic better than the previous one. This one, you know, you get an advantage if you use a champion that has the clarity tag, but you're not stuck if you don't. The last time, if you didn't have the proper tag champion, forget about it. They're gonna go indestructible and you had no way of getting rid of that indestructible. All right, so now fighting him, usually you wait out that first uh, armor, all right? Then you hit into his block a little bit, get your pierce up. Now, he shouldn't be able to get any uh, armor ups. All right, yep, yep, yep. Get him down, get him down. Crit resist, don't matter. Oh, he tried to evade on me, but it don't matter. Look at that, just chewing him up. I love it. And he's not a clarity attacker, but he can still get the job done. And that's what I like. And all that disintegration and all of that, he's immune to the power uh, burn and drain and all that, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, see like right here, I got auto block. You gotta be careful about that. Auto-blocked and stunned. I've gotten auto-blocked before, but I hadn't gotten stunned like that. That's why I usually wait for the uh, evade, um, I don't know, the evade phase, I guess you would say, because it's safer. All right, so now this time, I waited until he was all the way down to fire my special three to make sure it finished him. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. So Hulkling is, is just beasting it up. He's doing great. Okay. Now, that's my path for uh, section one. Section two, that first node is an interesting one because it has Omega Sentinel. She gets lots of armor up. And you need somebody that either can deal with the armor ups or is bleed immune or both. Guess who's both? Terax. Terax is bleed immune and he can deal with the armor ups. So watch this. Look at her. her. First, I do that. I learned to do that because you get a lot of damage when you uh, do that heavy and you have those bars of power. Now I'm just building up to another. See, I'm getting auto-blocked, but 
Who cares? All right. Now you got the evade phase, and you're getting glanced because of the armor ups. Okay. All right. And I can't remember if I... Yeah, I went to a special three. And you will... Um, I think I'll go into that... Um, I forgot what they called it. What? What? What is it when he uh, goes into that mode? Let me see. Does it tell you? Rock field. Okay. When he has rock field active... You see that? Auto block failed... Um, he's also clarity, by the way. So if you see that green icon, that is the clarity buff. Do you see the purple? Kind of purplish icon. Every time that goes to 10, I get another stack of the clarity. Okay, so keep watching that. Boom. See? So it's like every 10 hits, you get another stack. And while you have that, they cannot auto block or evade. So you have a big advantage. That's important because as we'll see in the future, that I need to watch for that, okay? Um, but we got her down pretty quick and easy, handled uh, all of that. Now, Red Skull has been buffed. He is a crazy nasty defender at this point in time. I make a mistake here, a really bad mistake. My mistake is going in here with the wrong champion. I was supposed to, and this is why I brought him. I actually brought Terax in for this fight. He's also shock immune and he can armor break. That's important. He doesn't armor break, okay? So, not only does he not armor break, but I can't even hit into his block. Even though, and I don't know why this is. Is this a bug? But even though he is immune to the power burn and all of that, he still takes damage. As opposed to another champion who's also immune to power burn who doesn't take damage. What is the difference? I don't understand. Um, so, see, like right there? hit into his block. Now keep in mind that Hulkling is not clarity either. So I have no way to shut down the auto evade, auto uh, block. You know that um, he auto blocks like crazy. And I realized my, my mistake pretty early on in this fight. Cause now I'm like, I'm glancing. I'm glancing a lot because of the armor ups. He's maxed out now, and I have no way. See, like, every time I hit into his block, it does remove the armor, but I take damage. That's not sustainable. And I'm like, oh, man. This is rough. And then he's dexing. Look at it. He's just fast, fast with it. And I'm like, come on. All right? But then when I do get in there, I'm glancing. Now, glancing just means that I'm not going to get any crits. So it will be a very slow fight because it's gonna only do normal damage. Most of our damage comes from our crits. You know, in most cases. There's some, you know, that can't crit and they do it a little bit differently. But if we're glancing, we're not doing the damage we could. Now you see, I am doing damage to him. Okay, I am doing damage, but not enough and not fast enough. And y'all know how much I just love, love long fights. At this point in time, I was ready to throw in the towel. If it hadn't been for Alliance War and, you know, I wouldn't want to let everybody else down, I would have quit this fight and gone back in with Terax and finished it. But I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just see if we can uh, save a death, you know, save a, a, an attack bonus. Now, I didn't really want to push him to a special two, but I did. And then I messed up. I usually can evade that. And then, of course, the auto block and blah, blah, blah. All right. So, died.
to this Red Skull. Now, I'm just like, I don't believe I went in there with Hulkling. I was, I, I had Hulkling in the mind. You know, Hulkling was, I was fighting with Hulkling, Hulkling, fought with Terax, and then I just went back to Hulkling and didn't even think about it. Okay? But Terax is who I was supposed to use for this. Okay? As you can see, look at the armor breaks. The more armor I'm breaking, the more damage I can do and the less glancing I'll do, which means I'll be doing more damage. Okay? So look at this. Now he doesn't have any armor. Look at this. Why? Why did I go in there with Hulkling? Just not paying attention. And I was so mad at myself. All right, so now my rock field isn't there. Okay? So, and you can see I am clarity, so I can block the, uh, I mean, I can stop him from getting his auto block off and his uh, um, auto evade. But right here, it ran out. Okay, so bam. Now I got another one. So we're good again. Got the armor breaks going in. Okay, this auto block. I could have gone right in there at that point. Um, but I was trying to get more armor breaks. But then I was like, you know what? Let's just finish it. And we finished it. So definitely a much better option. But. Um, I do have someone that I want to try against that Red Skull that I think will be very, very good against him. Did a few practice fights against him, and if I see him there again, definitely bringing this champion in. But we'll see how that goes. All right, so right now I have another fight, and it is uh, this fight here. Now... I know how to fight Spot. He's annoying, but I know how to fight him. Okay? I get to use Onslaught in this fight. And I'm not really used to using Onslaught, first of all, because he's usually on defense. And I don't think I've ever fought Spot with Onslaught. I can't remember. Okay? But we're going to be dealing with Spot. Now, I want to prepare y'all because you're about to see the best onslaught playing that you have ever seen in your entire life. So you might want to pause it, take some notes, you know, get your notepad out, okay? So here we go. Yeah, got some Neuro Shocks on him. Oh. Auto block, mm-hmm, okay, no problem. Yep, here's some more neuro shocks. Oh, there's an auto block, what? Uh, there goes my uh, indestructibles. Alrighty, but that's okay, onslaught tough. Bam, hit him with it, oh, evade. Okay, still hitting him, just gotta be careful. All right, and then hit into his special. Okay, and then got smacked up. All right, all right, but we good. We're good. All right, approaching. Oh, and then we went to a special three. Obviously, that was all part of the plan. You got your notes? You got your notes, right? So, we got a special three, but I'm still alive. Like Portal. Ha! <laughs> you get it? You get it? Yeah, yeah, spot, the game portal, still alive. Eh, if y'all know, you know. All right, so look at this. I'm just rocking. Oh, look at that. All by design, all by design. Now I get to hit him with my special three. Oh, yeah. See, I got hit all that so that I could get to my special three, you see. Oh, he's stunned. What? Okay. Uh-oh. Now, this time, we don't want to get him to his special three. Okay. Ooh, and auto-blocked. But I was kind of ready for it. And done. Best playing ever. Flawless 
victory. That's right. Better ask somebody. Okay, now. Whew, I don't want to do that again. But that is going to do it for my fighting in this war. We'll be back and you will find out just how this war ended. And we're back and unfortunately we lost this war. In fact, we got stomped is what we got. All right. But we did get all three bosses down. This is a tier two war. So even this loss, which will probably put us back down to tier three, we got a good number of points. All right. But look at that attack bonus. We just got stomped. Okay. Nothing else to say for it. Shout out to our MVPs. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.